All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I am next gonna go ahead and drill the holes. Uh, I'm gonna use the new sort of selection technique. Now, I think the holes are a little weird size-wise, so we'll just get a tool that's kind of close. Again, this is more about process than anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop up to, um, again, my toolpath ribbon up top. Uh, I'm gonna expand, grab a drilling op, one of the two, they're identical, so just one of them. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use a feature selection. And specifically, I'm gonna use a control click to go ahead and click on the inside wall of that first hole, and uh, or one of the holes. And Mastercam is gonna go ahead with a control click, go ahead and locate the other matching diameters on that. Uh, I'm also plotting out the top and bottom of each hole based on that selection if I choose to use incremental values. And we've got a diameter 0.3543. Again, we'll find something close to that. I think these might have been metric. Um, who knows? Um, the other issue I have is the sorting issue here is not so great. Um, when you do a group selection like that, sometimes you end up with some odd duck um, uh, distribution. So we'll just do a quick resort. Uh, I'm a massive fan of point to point sort. That's usually your fastest option. With point to point sort, I am prompted to select a start point. So you just kind of pick your first hole and then it, it basically comes up with a hopefully the shortest conceivable distance of doing multiple holes. So you got quite a few holes, point to point is usually your, your best bet for that. So that looks pretty good. So we'll say okay. All right, I'm gonna pop into my tool manager or my tool page here. I'm gonna go find, um, and I've already forgotten the size of that hole, 0.3543, okay. Um, so we'll find something close to that, 0.3543. How about we go 0.358? We'll go with the T drill. That's pretty close. Uh, we can uh, scotch bright it to get it up to tolerance. There we go, it'll be fine. Um, Always a little slop in those anyway, right, guys? Uh, so yeah, T-drill, that should be fine for us. I'm going to go to my cut parameters. Uh, again, basically just choose my drill cycle based on what I'm trying to do here. We'll just do this as a basic drill counter bore. Again, nothing nothing magic to here. Uh, tool axis control, three axis output. Uh, linking parameters. Uh, again, new for 2024. Uh, if you haven't seen this yet, this is pretty cool. Um, if I'm using uh, either lines, axis lines, or I'm using the walls, what they call a feature or a face selection for these, and I use incremental values, depth, incremental in zero is the bottom of the hole, incremental in zero for top of stock is the top of the hole, and then if I want to, uh, you know, retract clearance can also be incremental, and those will show up there. Um, you do have these sort of color keyed tabs out on your screen. So for example, say, if, you know, they are for each sort of individual hole feature. Uh, these are interactive, so I can actually move. Uh, so if I want to grab my retract and drop it down to 0.25, um, that'll do it uh, for all of the holes relative. Very cool. Uh, we'll add a little bit of a tip comp and a little bit of breakthrough there uh, just to calculate. Um, and that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and green check that. And that looks like we're getting that tool or that drill. And I should probably turn the drill back on uh, to the bottom of that hole. There we go. And just that little bit of breakthrough. So controlling the depth very easily with that. 